Welcome back to the channel. As you guys have seen, we've done a couple reviews together on some RVs. Mm -hmm. They're both mid bunks. It was the Alliance Paradigm and the Palomino River Ranch. Yes. And if we were in the market today, it would really be between these two RVs. Yeah. Like we love these floor plans, we love the layouts, but you only can pick one. So we're gonna show you what we like about both of them, but we're gonna pick the one that we would choose at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Quick special shout out to Paris RV here in Utah. Uh, Jessica is a salesperson. I'll put their information down below here. Be sure to give them a look up if you are in the market for either one of these RVs. So Hannah, what do you like about the River Ranch that you don't like about the Paradigm? When I first hopped in, I did notice the screen and I prefer this over the control panel switches. I think that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. I like that I can control it from my phone so I can track water, temperature, tanks, all from an app or easily come to this and do that even control the awnings um okay yeah. yeah and to hannah's point sometimes like when we're like in bed or anything like that especially when it's really cold outside and it gets cold in rv it's always nice to be able to turn the ac units on from the bed without having to get up to go to like a, a panel and to do it and the paradigm did not have in command system like this this is not the in command system but this is like a different interface that they have but i like that this river ranch has this as well so what do you like better about this one versus the other one i would say because you mentioned this in the last review we did i would say how tall this island is because is. she makes me do dishes now guys <laughs> like because i'm unemployed <laughs> she makes me do the dishes and i actually enjoy it because it helps her out because she does still homeschool our kids and I do like the fact that they give you all these accessories with it too. Like, look how thick that wood is. And look how you have a strainer right there. What else is in here? Anna? You could soak um, meat or anything else in here without having it in your sink. Isn't that really cool? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, and it just really helps to kind of divide things out too. We had to buy this extra, but this fits perfectly inside. It's under the counter. And this is all solid surface too. So I think Justin and I both agree on this point. We both love the underbody basement storage of the River Ranch. Yes. I mean, the Alliance can't compete with that. No, it Cougar cannot. can't compete with that. <laughs> nope. I don't think my old home basement could compete with this. Like, this is really nice. I love that it's all completely open. Storage inside does lack a little bit, so I could see us storing way more stuff out here, like winter stuff, summer stuff all of the stuff all mm -hmm. of the things this is incredible yes and have i shown you the front storage yet no let's go check it out wow yes Holy so gosh. it goes on for days there's so much storage i love this you do sacrifice your height on the inside of the camper but yes. then you come down here and you're like okay is this worth it yes what do you need in your next RV is the question. <laughs> <laughs> so the third thing I like about the River Ranch or the Alliance is the shower. I love the look of it. I love the length of it. This yes. is really long. It's a lot bigger. Yes. Yes. And I think the bathroom is a little bit bigger too. What do you think? I think so. I think it's a little bit like deeper i would say and you get a lot of countertop space right mm -hmm. here i love just the ease of wiping things right into the sink it's just a really nice bathroom now the fourth thing i will mention myself because i'm a sucker for these things this roof is a little bit higher in here i do like that i love the windows all around the bed mm -hmm. and i love that they give you one here now there is no tv in here and i know my wife likes that because she doesn't like tvs at all but check this out you get a fireplace in your bedroom. This will make it too hot probably. <laughs> so if you put this on a low temperature, probably like around like maybe 68 degrees, this room will stay nice and cozy. And I will say both RVs match themselves on the closet. They're both big, they both have wash and dryer prep and they have shoe storage right there. So they're both about the same there. But I think where this one wins is having the fireplace and having this really nice dresser. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's just a next level of design and just overall appearance looks great. So we made our way over to the Alliance Paradigm. I'm gonna go first on this one because I'm tall. Well, I'm not too tall, I'm like six foot. But when you walk into this Alliance, the ceiling height in here, yeah. 
I can't reach the ceiling. I can't reach the ceiling. And look how tall this slide is. I can walk under, actually, probably if you're 6'4", you can still walk under this with no problem. And I just feel like you have more space to really spread out. They're both wide bodies, but this one just really does it a little bit better. It's I've, more homey. Yeah, it does. Yeah. They both have three AC units, so that's a huge plus on our next RV. This one has the hidden storage, but on the River Ranch, it had the television storage. So the television came out and you had storage behind it. I think that this one, that would be something that I prefer in this one, is all of the hidden storage. Yes. So behind the fireplace, True. under the living room and tables, mm -hmm. and in the bedroom. Okay, okay. Yep. No, I agree with that. I think that this one does it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So Hannah, what is the second thing you like about the Alliance Paradigm over the River Ranch? I love how the floors are flush. Oh, yeah. So in the other one, there's a little gap. And actually, it was a little bit bigger than normal under the sides. We've had toys get stuck under there. We've had little things get stuck under there, crumbs. This is seamless. This mm -hmm. is really nice. I like that there's no floor vents, as you notice, on this in this area. Yep. Again, makes it just nice and easy. And... There's no carpet anywhere, not even in the loft. That is nice, actually. That's right? really nice. Yes. Why would anyone put carpet up top? The other one didn't have a loft at all, so this one automatically wins because it has a loft, and that's something that's on our list of things. Mm -hmm. But they did a really good job on this one. Yeah, they did. Up next, the windows. <laughs> you can't deny the natural light that comes through them. We love having our shades open, especially when we have a great view. And these windows are incredible. Mm -hmm. They are huge. And, and honestly, even throughout the coach, you can see how big the windows are. Like, let's go into mid bunk. And they have a large window here. Like, you don't normally see this. Normally, it's a small window. But this is a large window in the mid bunk. And if you notice, there's no slide here, too. So if you are traveling, yeah. you don't have to open up a slide for your kids to get to their bed. And ours, you, we have to open up a slide for our son to get to the mid bunk. So then there's always a fight between our kids. Our daughter doesn't want our son in her room. And so it's like, is he sleeping with us? Yeah, which, which is absolutely Justin not. fights about it with her. So. <laughs> now, this one might not seem like a big deal to you guys. But if you plan on living full time like we do, a pantry and a dedicated pantry for food and things like that. This one has it in the kitchen. I believe that the River Ranch had one too. However, it was like further away from the kitchen. I would prefer to be right here. I also like that you do have a coffee nook too. Even though the River Ranch has a lot of countertop space, it doesn't have like a dedicated spot for it. I love that they did that in the paradigm. This has way more storage in this one. Are True. these the same length? They're about the same length. They're okay. not too far off. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to be apples to apples. I don't want to knock it if it's shorter, but if it's the same size, I feel like this one did a better job mm -hmm. with the amount of space. Yeah, I agree. The last point I want to make is on the slides. So as you guys can see on the Paradigm, there's only two slides on this side. And on this side, there's only one. And two of these slides are going to be Rack and Pinion, and one's going to be a Schwintec. Those three slide outs have been around for a long time. Now, if we walk over to the River Ranch, you have two slides on this side. And you have three, so that's five slides, which is two more than the Paradigm. Now, keep in mind, this Slim Rack system is fairly new compared to Rack and Pinion, which has been around for a long time. So, in my opinion, having less slides and having older technology is probably a better bet for reliability that's just my opinion but i would definitely consider that if you are looking at these two rvs so now that you guys have seen what we liked about both of the fifth wheels here's the one that we would choose both of them <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding which one on three one two three alliance, alliance. okay yeah. so we both were pretty much on the same page there now what I liked about the Alliance was the higher ceilings. I'm a little bit taller. Yeah. And one thing that you take for granted is walking in on these slides. And that slide mm. was probably tall enough for someone for like maybe six, four, six, five. Another thing that I liked 
was even though the River Ranch had storage for anyone really, I think anyone can get a River Ranch and not have enough stuff to put in that thing. I still think that the Paradigm is more than enough for us. It has yeah. a drop frame, so it's high and you can stack things in there and it's just a lot easier to maneuver in there too. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, so I really liked the aesthetic of the Alliance. The River Ranch is really nice too, don't get me wrong, but I did like the gold fixtures and a couple of the things that they did. Um, it felt really homey for us. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that I loved about it, and it's something I've never seen in any RV, and we've walked through probably over a hundred or more, yeah. is there was no carpet in the loft area. <laughs> um, that's so helpful because I have to lug a vacuum cleaner up to my daughter's room because she has carpet up there. So that was really nice. And then there was also no like lip or gap between the slides, which for me, I love um, moving days. It just makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. to not have to do a constant sweep. We've had so many things get caught under there, toys, balls, rocks, you name it. And so that was really cool. And it just looked better overall. It mm -hmm. looked cleaner and nicer. Yeah. I really liked the Alliance. Yeah. And, and just to kind of add to that too, like having three slides versus five, mm. that's a big deal. Like you have to think about that. If you have a slide go out, cause at some point you may, it's just two less things that go wrong in the RV. And yeah. I think that for them to, to think about not putting one in that mid bunk was just genius. Yeah. So you, you just can kind of see that the Palomino was a good one, but you can really see that Alliance really took their design and, and their R&D to another level. Like, because they just did things that you don't really see a lot of. Like, even the fireplace storage, like in our RV, yes. we have, I've had to take our fireplace out and clean it because it gets really dusty in there. And I just remember pulling it out and it's like, man, there's like wasted space back here. Mm -hmm. And they, they have a solution for that. And that's really cool. But again, both good RVs, the River Ranch, again, if I couldn't find a Paradigm, I would easily buy the River Ranch. I mean, I, I think yeah. that you probably didn't like the, the storage of it as much inside, but mm -hmm. I would be happy with either one of those. I think that if you had to buy one of these, you probably would need a dually too. So just keep that in mind. They're both really heavy. Anytime you have a wide body RV, unless it's less than 34 foot, you're probably gonna need a dually. And especially with all the storage that these RVs have and with the generator prep, just consider yourself looking at duallys for these types of rigs. But I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you so much for helping me do those videos. You took some time off from work. Do that too. You're welcome. And um, yeah, be sure to comment, subscribe, and like this video. See you soon.